Hello everyone, I am Spirit and I am making a how to blockbuster tutorial thing. I'm not entirely sure, like, <laughs> I'm just making this video for my friends who um, want to make role plays themselves, so. Um. Yippee. <laughs> I can already tell this video is going to be absolutely terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the video. If you want to find mods, you can go to CurseForge. There is plenty of mods. Um, you can also find shaders, texture packs, and a lot of other things. So obviously you are going to want to download these mods that are shown on the screen right now. You can find 3D models on Sketchfab and I just found this cute little model that is just adorable so I'm going to download it. So once you've downloaded your 3D model you're going to want to open Blender. I, I don't know why I just said it like that, but I will. <laughs> uh, go to files and then import whatever format the model is. Um, and then choose the, the folder that it's in. You may need to extract it, but uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So now that you've hopefully done this correctly and that there's no issues, you're going to want to export it as a obj file go into models and then create a new folder and name it whatever the heck you want Don't forget to add the texture file within the model, model, what? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, um, I'm struggling right now. I'm sorry. Uh, the model file. There we, uh, yeah, there. <laughs> All right, so since it should have hopefully worked for you, uh, just place a model block down, go to pick, and then find the model that you've just imported and then voila there you go you have your 3d model now to add the texture you go into textures and if it still doesn't show just go into like the 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 the, the, the uh, brain no worry <laughs> just follow along you'll be fine <laughs> voila we have a a lovely, lovely little bench to uh, um, not sit on. Looks a tad bit awkward, but you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It, it's not fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it, 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 it'll do. Maybe. <laughs> this next step, I will show you how to animate a 3D model. Alright, so before you start your animating process, you are going to need a Blender add-on so you can export it. I will link this in the description, so yeah. <laughs> All right, to install your add-on, you go to edit and then preferences and then the add-on section, click on install and find your add-on zip file. You don't need to extract it. You can just install it from the zip and then make sure the little check mark is checked. 
Now to import your file, go to file, import, and then whatever file format your model is, and then it should pop up in Blender. Now the model I have chosen has come with both the cat ears and tail, so I am going to be deleting the tail and the bones that came with it. The reason I'm deleting the bones and making my life a lot more difficult is because <laughs> most models do not come with the bones, so I'll be showing you guys how to add the bones. If you don't see your texture, you can just follow the process that I'm following. Make sure you select your uh, 3D model's texture, and then it should appear. Now that you have all your textures and everything else done, you can start adding the bones. So to add the bones, you click on add and then armature and then single bones. And then it should give you a little bone. <laughs> Now I've scaled up the ears because I noticed the ears are really tiny compared to the, the bone so I've just scaled them up and uh, yeah. And sometimes it can be the opposite way where the bones are much larger than the 3D model um, so you might want to play around with that. As you can see, these two ears are awfully close to each other and a Minecraft's head. When you look at it, it's not going to work. So I'm going to separate that by adding a 3D model of a Minecraft character and uh, just seeing how well they fit and uh, where to position them. Alright, so now you can separate the model ears by going into edit mode and selecting all of one side of the ear and going to separate and I kind of messed up here so bear with me, gotta make sure it's all selected <laughs> and go to separate and then selection and then they should be separated. Now you can move one side of the ear and the other side of the ear to wherever place you want them to be on the head. I am going to speed up this process because it does take a bit. Alright, when you are happy with how the ears are looking and where they're placed, you can join them back together. So left click and shift on both of the ears and then right click and then join and then they should be joined back together. And now you can get rid of the Minecraft 3D model. Back to the bones, you're gonna wanna place the bones within the model itself. And to view the bones within the model, you can go to viewport display and check in front. Now position the bone where you want it to be.
Now that you are happy where it's placed, go to edit mode and then click on the top bone and then shrink it down or shrink it up. It depends on the model. Um, Now to add more bones, right click and then subdivide and then it will add more bones for you. Now that you are done with that, this next step depends on your model. If you're using ears, you're going to want to copy the bones and put them on the other set of ears that you have and just rotate them. I am going to speed up this process. Alright, now that you're happy with that, you can now join the bones together. And now you are going to want to parent the bones and the 3D model with automatic weights. Now that you've made sure all your bones are moving correctly, you're going to want to press N if you don't have this window already open. Um, you're going to want to go through all your bones and select XYZ. And now you're ready for animating. So drag up this window, go to the dope sheet, go to action editor and type in idle. Go back to the timeline and then play around with however long you want the animation to last. And make sure that you have selected this little dot. It just makes sure that everything is animating like keyframes and so and so and so and now you can start posing your 3d model
I am going to speed this up as you should know the basics of this by now. Once you are finished animating, save it as a Blender file. And then save it as a BOBJ file, which is the add-on that you installed. And then name it model. And now that you've done that, you can place it on your model. Depending on the model, you might want to play around with the scales and the size. I'm going to speed this part up. And just like that, you have your animated model. In this next scene, I will show you guys how to set up a recording scene. And to get to this feature, you just press zero on your keyboard. Just follow along. It's really easy, really simple. And uh, yeah.
this next part, I'm going to show you the edit record feature, which is really neat and really cool.
it's camera angles and recording time. First, what you want to do is press Shift F4. Click on Mod Options and then go to Capturing. Now, if you don't have the FFmpeg installed, you're going to have to install it. So just download the FFmpeg from here and then type in the save file location into the encoding path and then you're set to go. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to make sure that the capture path is where you want your videos to be saved. After all that's been done, you can close this little menu. Now we can work on the camera angles. Once again, just follow along, it's really easy. Now, when you hit record, it is going to take quite a bit of time, so do not worry when it slows everything down. Another thing I want to show off is model decoration. So for example, with what I'm doing on the screen, if you want to have a TV and uh, I don't know, some speakers and flowers, it you, you only have a limited amount of room. Um, which is why the model block is really, really helpful with this. You can add more stuff with an empty character and then add more body parts to it with using the item tool.
And there you have it. You have a decorative TV stand with some speakers, a TV, and some flowers and an Xbox. Next thing I'm going to show is particles. Now there is pretty much two types of particles. One is a snowstorm particle where you can add custom particles. To get to your custom particles you press Q and uh, you will see all these custom particles. You can play around with the settings for this, so you can increase and decrease with how many particles there are and all that stuff. Next is images. You can add your images into Minecraft using this mod. Lastly is morphing. So if you want to morph into a 3D model you've created, this is how. It doesn't matter what keybind you use, I just prefer to change my keybinds. If you have any questions, I will try to respond, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.